Who said anything about Jaeger pilots not carrying weapons? <laughs> yeah. Federation phaser rifle. Star Trek fan film. I'm not joking around. And today I'm here to review Pacific Rim Uprising, which is the sequel to the highly crit well, not really crit critically acclaimed, but it was a fun film, Pacific Rim. And this film was brilliant. I know a lot of critics are just saying, oh, it's mindless action. It's a kaiju movie. Mindless action's the name of the game. Literally. Literally. Mindless action. Pacific Rim in a nutshell. But... This film stars John Boyega as Jake, as um, Jake Pentecost, who is the that who is the son of the general from the first film. I'm sorry, it's been a while. I don't remember any of the names. It's been a while since I've seen Pacific Rim. And this film's brilliant. The tech's a lot more advanced. The CG is spectacular. But first, let's deal with the story. It's been 10 years since the breach foot was closed and the war was won. And everyone's moved on, yet the Jaeger program has remained strong. It's remained strong, and in case of the event of future kaiju incursions. And, all, and um, this Chinese company have built drone Jaegers. Yes, drone Jaegers, who only need one pilot who can operate from a remote and control the Jaeger that way. Which, for those of you that aren't Pacific Rim aficionados or have not even seen it, a Jaeger needs two pilots in the cockpit in the head to actually function. Otherwise, the person has severe neurolog neurological damage and dies. Right, so however, someone can navigate a Jaeger for a short period of time, but yeah. Um, and it involves um, Jake Pentecost, who's not his dad in any way. He's fast and loose. He's a thief. He doesn't play by the rules. He was kicked out of the Jaeger program. And he's just a basically a dropout in everything. Thing. And he finds this girl named Amanda who built her own Jaeger. I repeat. Built her own Jaeger. Named Scrapper. Who's smaller than he... Much actually is tiny. It's, compared to a Jaeger it's tiny. But gave Sereno Alpha a run for his money, who's a proper advanced Mark VI Jaeger. And then they're both called back in by Mako from the first film, who dies. Actually, I should probably put this up. Spoiler alert for Pacific Rim Uprising. Who dies by a remote Jaeger named Obsidian Fury. Named Obsidian Fury. Obsidian Fury is awesome. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't be rooting for the bad guy. Obsidian Fury is awesome. He gave Gypsy Avenger a run for his money. Twice. However, we find out that the drone Jaegers have a little secret. They're enhanced with Kaiju. Kaiju. That these drone Jaegers are deployed. And then, 
Newt from the first film, who has been infected by the precursors, who those, again, the precursors created the kaiju, who's been infected by the precursor and has bugged the system with, yeah, with kaiju DNA. And when they do, when the, this kaiju blood is activated, it turns these things into kaiju Jaeger hybrids, and they are terrifying. Fine. And those of you that don't know, one of my main fears is creatures whose jaws split open. Anything if its bottom jaw splits open, I, I don't like. I don't like them. It's why I hate the volatiles from Dying Light so much. However, however, these things are actually quite creepy, and they're actually really powerful. They take down every single Jaeger in a dome. Like that. And they also release three kaiju by opening breaches into our world from their world. And three Jaegers make it through. Three kaiju make it through and rip apart the and rip apart the kaiju the Jaegers across the Pacific coast. And it turns out that the kaiju are going for Mount Fuji in Japan. Japan. Now here comes one of my gripes with the film. There's not... The action in the film is absolutely spectacular. But the story does have falters. It does have flaws. It contradicts the first film in a lot of ways. And John Boyega's character is the only one I really actually care about. But, still, it's phenomenal. I still love Pacific Rim Uprising. And the CGI is spectacular as it was in the first film. Better than the first film. I love all the new Jaegers. And I'm not going to spoil the ending, but I'm giving Pacific Rim Uprising a 9 out of 10. And my epic seal of approval. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Now, excuse me. I have a few kaiju to hunt. Let's do this. What? Are we rolling or something? Oh, it's an outro. Right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy it, click here to check out more of my videos. Click here to watch the current season, season of fun reviews. And click here to check out the complete series. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.